Last week, we auditioned about 27 people. This girl that I knew was seeking representation, we're actually gonna see her today. So, you think you'll be here by 11? All right, if you're not, please call me. Okay, bye. Colleen is going to be late again for the second time. I can't believe that she's not here. When I called her and I said, where are you? 10 after 10, she had a 10 o'clock appointment. Um, she said, well, I didn't know you really meant 10. What did I mean? I mean, this girl doesn't know that you're supposed to be on time. So this, this is two strikes. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I said, don't Go you know you're supposed to cancel if you're gonna be late or call? She better be that good that she can be late. I don't know, Kelly. I, you know what, I, I don't even wanna talk about it. I'm so upset with this girl. Um, I'm no longer claiming discovering her. <laughs> You, no, you don't want to take credit for finding I her? don't want to brag about that credit. <laughs> Hello, Fresh Faces. Hi, Colleen. Colleen, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean you're taking two buses to get here? You know what? Honestly, Colleen, if this is what, how you're going to be when you go on auditions, I'm not going to send you out. I'm so furious. Did she talk back to you? No, 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 she wasn't. She just said that, well, I thought you were going to have other people there. I said, whatever I'm going to do has nothing to do with you. You had a 10 o'clock appointment here. And uh, she says, no, I will not be late for auditions. I don't believe her. I don't blame you. And you can't put your name on the line? Oh, my God. Oh, God. So annoyed. I don't really want to scare her either. Because well, no, she is talented. Part of me really wants to represent her, and the other part wants me to beat her. No, just tell her to get out. Shake her. I'm not going to do anything for her. Let's see how it goes. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Good. Good. I am so. Apologize. I'm very mad at Let you. Let me have it. Let me have well, it. Well, it's not a point of letting you have it. You know, I worked very hard to get you an audition. What is that? This is his name. He has asthma? Yes, he does. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. We had to, we were running around. Um, it's a lot of things been going on. Okay. And I, and I truly apologize. So what happens if I send you on an audition? If you send me on an audition, I will be there all the time. How do I know that? The only way that, that I can say it is, is that I'm very determined. And even though today was an issue, it won't happen again. Okay. If I didn't feel that you were so talented, believe me, I would have told you this morning, don't even bother coming. I swear, I would have. I'd like to get started a little bit. Absolutely. I want to give you some copy to read, okay? So just look it over a little bit. Don't memorize it. No! I'm not going. I don't care if everyone in the family is going and be there. I don't care if everyone in the whole entire state of California is going to be there. I'm not going, okay. and that's final. We're going to go back to the beginning, okay. okay? You're projecting way too much. Okay. So give it another shot. No, I'm not going. I don't care if everyone in the family is going to be there. I don't care if everyone in the state of California is going to be there. I'm not going, and that's final. I refuse to be part of this money-grabbing selfishness. Where are all these people, all these relatives and so-called dear friends when Grandpa was so sick? Let me have it back. It's very good. You ready to sing? I am. Okay. I love this song. Good. Break. 
I knew it. I mean, I, I saw you, and uh, you were terrific. I'd love to represent you. You're going to have an audition next week. I didn't get it yet. It's for a pilot, and it's a lead. Because I knew the casting director, that's the only reason you got an appointment, because they are not looking for new people that have never done anything. But I have such confidence in you. How do you want to go home? You're not going to go home by bus, are you? Yeah. You don't, you're afraid to take the railroad to Jamaica? The well, updated I can, one? I, if I could get to, I can get to the bus because I, I don't have money for a cab because, yeah, I'm the starving actress. How much is the uh, I bus? Could, I, honestly, um, I will, I hate this, but me and my mom and Jojo are in a homeless shelter at the moment. It's a nice one. It's, you know, regular apartment. So we don't have to worry about rent and things like that of that nature. But, uh, and because of the programs that we're in, they give you metro I get card. free, right, I get a free metro card. So I try to take the train, the bus, wherever I can. Um, the railroad is not, on, oh, it isn't? Uh, no. And I'm actually trying to get um, another job because then I could, I could quickly get the money to uh, get out of where we are now. Can I pay for your ticket? I don't mind. Eight. And there's a tip in there for him too. All right? Me? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Goodbye again. Bye. You're very welcome. You have a good day. Okay. Right. Stop booking for me, huh? Will do. Okay. Will do. <laughs> She's really excellent. You know, she sings really well, and um, she reads well. She actually exceeded my expectation. I know. You know, she was fabulous. And you know, she walks in here and then she, I was so pissed. They, here her little brother has an asthma. He's asthma. And then. I gotta get upset over When that. she blinked, when she said, it's your fault, I'm late. And he said, I'm sorry, I had to do a breathing treatment. <laughs> <laughs> very beautiful, very talented. Okay, I'll, I'll take credit again. Let's hope we could do something for her. When my mother is comfortable handing me Fresh Faces Agency, I know that's job well done. She will hand it to me one day, but I know it's going to be because she trusts it in my hands.